Armen Shehu Koko. I'll present Koko, Bese, and Mayama Federal Courses. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Kevin State. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to strongly support this bill because of two reasons. One, <clears throat> I was a retired police officer. I retired just last year, May 30th, to contest. Exactly. And I served for good 14 years in the Nigerian Police Force. I was opportune to be a member of presidential tax force on the proliferation of small arms and light weapons. Mr. Speaker, if I'm to tell you, I work with the former IG Okiro, who was heading the presidential tax force, and the, the membership was dropped from the military, the custom, the immigration, and many other services. Mr. Speaker, we worked for six months, and we worked between Jigawa, Kasina, Zamfara, Sokoto, KB, and Niger. We recovered 5,206 small arms and light from, from the citizens. What suffered from the work, Mr. Speaker, is funds, finances, logistics. I could remember the former governor of Kasina State he was the only governor that gave us a vehicle and two million naira then to do the work. We were, we were commissioned, we were sworn in to do the work, but the problem of finances to do the work. Mr. Speaker, my resident colleagues, this bill is very, very important to all of us. As Nigerians, we have to support this bill so that the number of arms, it's only God knows the number of arms that are circulating, going around in this country, more especially along the border and the coast area of this country. My colleagues, please support this motion, support this bill, so that we can have peace. We can have a very strong commission and well-funded. And Mr. Speaker, if we are to get the leadership, either the DG, whatever you want to call it, Mr. Speaker, please, I want to recommend that we should have an experienced security personnel to head this, uh, the committee, to head the commission. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I want to at this point.